Welcome to the first session on MicroFocus's DevWeb protocol. This is the first in a set of tutorial videos about a new load runner protocol for testing web applications. In this video, we're going to review the installation process of DevWeb as a standalone component. If you are using either LoadRunner Professional or Enterprise, DevWeb is already deployed into the bin folder of your installation. We'll start by downloading DevWeb from the MicroFocus Application Delivery Marketplace. The link is in the description. You can see that there are three components. The DevWeb Engine, which is the basic download that we'll use for this video, the Proxy Recorder, which will be explained in the third video of this series, and the Correlation Rules Converter. You can see that we have three flavors of DevWeb, Windows, Ubuntu, Linux, and Mac. DevWeb is cross-platform, so you can download the flavor appropriate for your operating system. Extract the zip file to any accessible location on your machine. In this folder, you will see multiple executables and configuration files. These are the files you will need to generate scripts and execute them. We'll define DevWeb path as a machine level environment variable. This environment variable is required if you wish to use DevWeb in an IDE, such as ViewGen, Atom.io, or Visual Studio Code. It will be defined automatically with any installation of ViewGen. We'll go to the Machine Environment Variables editor. Let's add a new environment variable called DevWebPath. Note that it's all uppercase. The value should be the folder to which we extracted the zip. In this case, it is C slash DevWeb. Use the OK button to approve your changes. Restart any application in which you would like to use DevWeb. For Atom.io, we have created a plugin that can be downloaded from the marketplace. We recommend using Visual Studio Code as it provides the most accurate code completion and debugging capabilities. You can use a Visual Studio Code template found in the examples directory as the basis of your script. Thank you for watching this video about installing DevWeb Standalone. We invite you to watch our next video, generating a DevWeb script via an HAR file.